When you use PyCharm to create a new project, you're given a choice to create a virtual environment. Let's go ahead and give this one a name. Call it test. Anaconda environment. And expand this. In this drop down menu, you can choose Conda. And you can see here that it's asking for a Conda executable. So we'll show you how to download that. But first, let's talk a little bit about Conda, what it is. It is a Python distribution. It is free and open source of Python and the R programming language. And it's mostly used for scientific computing, data science, machine learning, and so forth. And it also has its own package management system called Conda. And I'll show you a little bit about that after we download it. So let's go ahead and download it now. To get it, you go to anaconda.com products you select individual edition you slow it down a little bit there's a download button here go ahead hit that take you down to the bottom we're using Mac OS so we chose the graphical installer you can choose the command line installer if you want but if you feel more comfortable with the graphical installer go ahead and choose that and it will lead you through a series it'll lead you um, through a series of steps using a wizard so one thing that they do recommend is you place it in a directory called slash opt. So after you go ahead and download it, you can verify that it's there. Here on this machine, we downloaded it to opt, and then under this directory, it'll show Anaconda 3 and then bin, and then under bin it will be an executable called Conda. And this right here is what we'll use in PyCharm for our project. So we'll go back to our project, and for the executable, we'll go ahead and browse to that same directory. Here it is right here. Go ahead and hit OK. And we'll create a directory. Let's create a con environment right now. Might take a few seconds. And there we go. So we'll go ahead and close these tips. Under test anacon environment, we'll go ahead and set up, we'll just make it easy and we'll go ahead and set up a new, we'll call it a, or just a directory. We'll call it source. Under source, we'll create a new Python file, and we'll call this. Um, we'll just call this graph. It's just to demonstrate the um, Conda package. So what we'll do here is I have some. I have some code here. Here it is. Go ahead and just copy this in. This code is from presentation we did on matplotlib using matplotlib to create charts and if you haven't seen that uh, video we'll go ahead and put a link in the description so go ahead and just paste this in and now you can see here that the project does not recognize matplotlib and numpy so what we need to do is add it so if, to do that we'll go up here to python preferences pycharm preferences And then under here is a project interpreter. Now you can see here this little button. This is the Conda package manager icon. So to use it, go ahead and click it. And then we get here and it shows the packages that are currently being used. To add one, we'll go ahead and click this install button. And remember we need matplotlib. So We'll go ahead and type that in here. There it is right there. Okay, so this version looks good. So we'll go ahead and install this package. As you can see back here, it is working on it. So we'll give this just a few moments to finish up. Okay, it says it's just successfully installed. So we'll go ahead and close this out. And you can see here that now we have matplotlib. 
Now you may have noticed as well that we also need a NumPy, but this is a dependency, so it went ahead and added it for us. So we'll go ahead and click OK. We'll close that. It's going to go ahead and update everything. And in just a few moments, these the red squiggly lines should go away. All right, great. There we go. So that's just a quick video on how to use Anaconda in PyCharm. It's really easy to hook up and use. Now I wanted to show you one more thing. Now you may have noticed in the Anaconda folder here is an application called Anaconda Navigator. And this is a, a graphical uh, representation or a GUI used to see your different environments. So let's just go ahead and open this up. Okay, over here is a, a tab for environments. We'll go ahead and click that. And as you can see here, there's an environment called Test Anaconda Environment, and that is the one we actually created. And if you click on it, it'll show the, the packages that um, are installed. Go ahead and let that load. Here are the packages that are installed, and you can select from different ones, not installed, updatable. There's also the base or root environment that comes with Anaconda. Go ahead and let this load. As you can see, there are 320 packages here. And as you scroll down, you can see that there are the, var the variation of all the packages. There are a lot of them here. You can also switch this to say, to choose the ones that are updatable. So you see these arrows over here these mean that you can update them and there's an update available now if you wanted to update one of these you would just select it mark for update and then you can hit the apply button and then would update the version of this all right now you know enough to use anaconda with PyCharm now get out there and code something if you have any comments, please leave them below, and thanks for watching.